everyone, it's Donnie Lowy from CloseOutExplosion.com. Hope you're having an amazing day today. Today I'd like to discuss with you the importance of finding the right location for your retail store. And you know, I want to mention that even though I've mentioned a retail store, the same principles can apply to many different types of retail stores, but at the same time you do need to be aware that every type of retail business has its own characteristics and therefore what might apply to one business might not apply to another business, or even what can apply to two types of businesses can apply to different degrees. Meaning to one business, something might be crucial, and to the other business, it might not be as crucial, even though it also is an important factor. All right, so let's go, you know, let's start. All right, so first of all, the next time you come to New York, I'd love to meet you. You're welcome to come to my warehouse. My warehouse is in Brooklyn, New York. The website is closeatexplosion.com. Let's start out by giving you an example. I once heard a story of two gas stations, and both gas stations were on a very busy highway. They were on opposite sides of each other, and there were plenty of cars driving on both sides of the highway. One gas station thrived, it did really well, and the other gas station didn't do well at all, and eventually it closed. Now, I wanna just give you a second or two to consider, why would one gas station do really well and another gas station not do well at all if they're both on the same highway and they both had the equal amount of traffic. So traffic going one direction, had let's just say for example, 2,000 cars a day, and the traffic going the other way had 2,000 cars a day. One gas station did well, the other gas station didn't do well. So why do you think? Okay, so I'm gonna tell you what I was told. One direction, people were rushing to get to work. They didn't have the time to stop at the gas station. The other direction, people were coming home they already had more time, they weren't as much of a rush, and they stopped at the gas station on the way back from their house. So what was happening is that one gas station, people didn't have time to stop by because they were rushing to work. And the other gas station, they had plenty of time to stop by and fill up. So as you can see, the location makes a very big difference. Now it's the same thing with your retail store. You can have a store that caters towards professional women. You could be selling the Harry suits, you could be selling Calvin Klein dresses, if you place your store, if you locate your store in a downtown location, you have to be situated in a place where it is accessible, where it is feasible for customers to come to shop, and it has to be realistic that people will be able to come to shop by you. If people are rushing to get to work and they're passing your store on the way to work, and you are closed once their job, once their, you know, their work day is over, then you're not gonna get any business. But if you are in that location, you have to make sure that you're open at the time when customers could come shop by you. So in, now I'm introducing another factor. It's not just important to be at the right location, but you have to have the hours that fit that location. Now, as far as picking the right location, let's say you're in a downtown area and you know that there are plenty of professional women who work in that area and they're gonna need the merchandise that you sell. The question is, are they predisposed to come by by you? Let's say they have a lunch break and their lunch break is half an hour. Are they gonna spend their lunch break going out to a coffee store, to get something to eat? Are they gonna to go to a pizza store? Or are they gonna spend their time coming to shop at your clothing store? Now you might say, okay, so I'll just keep the clothing store open after their work day is over. The challenge is that when their work day is over, they just might wanna get home. So you have to be situated in a situation where people are gonna be able to access your store and they're gonna to wanna to come to your store, right? You're gonna to have to be mentally predisposed to come shop at your clothing store. Now, let's say you have a store and it caters to professional women. You might wanna to to locate the store actually in a suburb where those professional women live. This way they can shop when they get home, they could shop on the weekends. And that's another important thing. You wanna have a store set up in a place that people frequent during the weekends or people can travel to during the weekends because a lot of the shopping is done during the weekends. Especially now that there's a lot of shopping done, being done online, people generally you know, don't have a lot of time during the day, and if they are gonna shop during the weekday, they're generally gonna do it online, in my opinion. But during the weekend, people like to go out, they like to you know, get out of the house, they wanna just you know, have some leisure time for themselves, and as they're you know, walking around or driving around, if they see a clothing store and their clothing that interests them, they might stop at the clothing store and make a purchase inside the store. The location is also very important for another reason. You wanna be in a prime location, but if the rent is really high 
and you're not going to be able to sell enough to make a profit, it doesn't matter how many customers frequent that location. If the rent is excessive and you cannot sell enough to establish a profit after the rent, then it's not going to make sense for you to be in that location. It might make sense for you to be in a location that's slightly off the beaten path, let's say a block off the main commercial avenue or a few or an avenue that's not the most popular or the not the most frequented avenue, but you'll pay less, a lot less rent. You might pay half the amount of rent that you would pay to be in the main avenue, or you might even pay 80% less rent than if, if you're a few blocks away from the main area. But as your store develops a good reputation, more people are going to want to come and they're going to want to shop at your store. So you want to build up a good reputation. How do you do that? Well, you have to have good merchandise and good prices. Now, while this is kind of off topic, I just want to remind you, I've discussed this before, it's important not to sell merchandise at, a, at an extremely low price. If your prices are too low, people are going to question the quality and the authenticity of the merchandise. So if you are selling retail, keep a price that's fair. You want to have a price that is below what other people sell that merchandise for, but at the same time, it has to be a price that reflects the quality and the authenticity of what it is that you are selling. All right, hope you enjoy this video. The next time you're in New York, you're welcome to visit my warehouse. My website is closeoutexplosion.com. Thank you and have a great day.